morning. No. Welcome to the late night show. <laughs> the late night science show. Um, factor fallacy. Factor fallacy. Genetic factor fallacies. I'm Ms. Fennell. And I'm Mr. Douglas. <laughs> and we're going right. to go over the survey you guys took on Monday. All right. So we saw a wide range of answers. We're going to start with number one. So the question oh. was, or the oh, statement. Oh, do I have to do my... I have to do my screen presentation, right? Okay. Are you able to edit this or should we start over? Uh, I don't want to edit it, Mr. Douglas. I think we can post okay. it the way it is. <laughs> okay. okay. We can yeah, do our intro. Yeah, here. I, it's eight o'clock at night. Okay. Can you see my screen? All right. Barely. So if I go to the survey. All right. So question number one was... Certain learned characteristics like the ability to do math or play music may be inherited. What do you think, Mr. Brown? What do I think? Well, I already know the answer, so that's not really a fair question. <laughs> um, 201 of you said this was true, and 93 of you said this was false. This is actually false. Um, if we look at the ability to actually do math or play music, um, you, these are what we call learned skills. These are things you have to learn how to do. Um, and so you might inherit aptitude for these things. Like you might, things might come easier for you. That possibly is genetic, but these are actually learned characteristics is the key word here. And so these are things you have to learn how to do. So this one actually is false. All right. Number two. All right, number two, identical twins are always the same gender. We have 101 of you saying true and 193 saying false. Let's think about this. So identical twins, they're coming from the same fertilized egg. So that means they're going to be the same gender. So that will be true. True. So actually, more people got it wrong than right yesterday. Oh, okay. Number three, the father determines the gender of the child. 182 of you said true. 112 of you said false. This is actually true. Um, it's not like the father can think about it, but it is determined by his reproductive cell. If the sperm cell that fertilizes the egg is carrying an X chromosome, again, the child will be a girl. And if the sperm cell is carrying a Y chromosome, the child will be a boy. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit more in this upcoming chapter as well. All right, number four, color blindness is more common in males than in females. 234 of you said true, and 60 of you said false. The answer is true. We're not going to go too far into it, but basically it's a gene that's on the X chromosome. Yeah, so we'll actually learn how this is inherited when we learn how to do Punnett squares at the end of the chapter. By the way, Mr. Douglas, did I tell you my mom is a genetic um, abnormality? No. <laughs> My mom is kind of a rare thing. She's a colorblind female. Interesting. And so she she didn't have any sons, but if she had, he would have had a hundred percent chance of being colorblind. Um, so we will explain more of that at the end of the chapter. So all right. Number five, a parent may give their child genes that are not showing up or expressed in the parent. 244 of you said true. 50 of you said false. This one is true. Uh, this is the idea of recessive genes, which we're going to get into in this chapter. All right. Number six, if a woman eats a lot of strawberries while she is pregnant, it will cause her child to be born with a large birthmark. 72 of you said true and 222 of you said false. That is clearly <laughs> false. You just kind of wanted to see what you were drinking, what kind of coffee you were drinking yesterday. <laughs> you know, my grandma Tnipal always said if the mother drank coffee, then the child would have a birthmark. But certainly things the mother eats or drinks like alcohol could affect the baby, but strawberries don't cause birthmarks. So, all right. Number seven, I think this is a hilarious question. The bossier parent contributes more to a child's genetics than the other parent. Some people say they have one parent who's bossier than the other. Some people don't, but uh, this is false. Each parent contributes 50% of the DNA to the child. All right, number eight, if a person loses a limb like an arm or a leg in an accident, it is likely that her or she will have a child with a missing limb. 31 of you said true and 263 of you said false. That clearly is false. That was an accident that happened during their lifetime that did not change their genetics. So they're not going to pass that on to their offspring. Excellent. Number nine, humans may inherit genes in their DNA that do not show up as one of their traits. That is true. Um, and again, this goes to something we call recessive genes, which we'll explain what that is at the end of the chapter. 
All right, number 10, humans clone cows every day. We got 93 of you saying true, 191 of you saying false. The answer is true. So basically, we're able to select for traits of certain cows that we want, and we can take a cell of a cow and put that nucleus inside of that cell in order to have the, the cow that we're selecting for produced. Excellent. Number 11, all living things have DNA made of the same stuff. 184 of you say true. 110 say false. Uh, this one is true. And we kind of, this was the first half of the chapter we did before break. Um, all living things have DNA and it's all made of sugars and phosphates and the four nitrogen bases. A's pair with T's and C's pair with G's and all living things. All right. Number 12, children born to older parents usually have less energy and are quieter than those born to younger parents. This kind of qualifies for me, but 81 of you are saying true and 213 of you are saying false. The correct answer is false. I was born to an older mother, but I'm not necessarily quieter. It's just a wise tale. And I'm quieter, but I was born to relatively younger parents. So I don't know. This isn't a genetic thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Number 13, plants have genes. That's absolutely true. Plants have DNA. If you remember doing our strawberry DNA lab, and they also have genes. In fact, we're going to study pea plants at the end of this chapter and how they can inherit genes for height and for flower color and all kinds of cool stuff. All right. And then it looks like it took most of you less than 10 minutes to complete the survey. Thank you for giving us feedback. We want to try to get as much feedback as possible throughout all of this online learning. Awesome. And we want to, hopefully, assignments only take you 30 minutes. So I'm going to go back to the Google Meet. I'm going to stop presenting. So we can go back and forth. We got Ms. Fennell, Mr. Douglas. Ms. Fennell. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Douglas. <laughs> we need to pull by, you know. All right. Is there anything else we have to say or is that a wrap? That's a wrap. That's a wrap. See you later. Yeah. All right.